Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and today I'm going to show you how to assemble your Mayakova finish box. So this is how it arrives. You have the pallet, you have the base, you have the chair drop itself, and then you have the cover set. Of course, when you're assembling it, you want to start with the base. You can go ahead and get rid of the pallet whenever you feel you need to. Um, and to do this whole thing, it takes about 30 minutes. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and open up all these boxes. We'll fast forward to when I'm done. All right, now that we've opened the pedicure base, we have three important parts. The first one is the bar risers. Not all spas have this, but if you do have it, it's very important you need to install it. We'll set that aside for now. And then we have the footrest inside of this box, which we'll open later. And we have the base itself. We highly recommend you bring a friend, Eric, can you help me? Sure. To lift this out because it is quite heavy. take the bar risers that you pulled up, place them on top, uh, aligning the holes with the tall side up. Just leave it like that for now. Um, and then the next thing, pull out the footrest on the packaging. And underneath the footrest, you'll see a little bag of screws. And you'll want to grab a screwdriver for this next part. Open up the bag and then align the holes to the existing hole on the base and you'll want to face it like this so that you can adjust the footrest here on these little um, latches. For now, let's just set it on the lowest one so you can add the screws. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and add the screws, put the washer on each. So here's what the chair top will look like in the box. You can see there's a lot of packaging. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just remove this and we'll skip to the next section. And now that we've removed the chair top from the box, you'll notice that there are four things in the box, excluding the chair. There's this bag of screws, which will include the screws for the bar risers here. You have your power cord, and the remote control, and then you also have the manual. So you want all of these things. All right, set them aside for the moment, and now we'll begin attaching the chair top to the base. Okay, so for this next part, we have the power cord, we have the remote control, we have the bar riser screws that we took out of that little package, we have the washers, and then we have a 30 millimeter wrench. So it's very important to follow the same order that we're going to do this in. So please watch carefully and have another person so that you can put the chair top onto the base. All right, let's do this. Make sure you set the chair top directly on top of the bar risers and be very careful about setting it down so that you make sure you have it in the right spot. And then have your partner. Good. And have your partners continue to support the chair top as you do the next step, which is to apply the power cord. So I'm going to go around to the back of the chair, plug it in. Okay, and then plugging in the remote is also quite simple. You need to plug it in. I'm going to get in your space a little bit, sorry. And then pull this cable around the back. And plug it in here. You will see a little connector here. Um, just make sure the pins line up. And then there's a little movable washer. All you gotta do is screw that in and that will help to secure the connection so that it doesn't come loose. Plugged in and on. Go ahead and begin moving the chair back. That will allow access to the holes beneath it. If you have bar risers, it will allow access to the bar riser holes. If you don't, it will allow access to the holes on the chair tub itself. 
So now that it's all the way in the rear position, go ahead and line up the holes to the bar risers on the chair base itself, the frame, I should say. We're gonna need to do, move it around a little bit. All right, and then let's put the washer on. Then this giant screw all the way in. And then we're gonna need to align this next one. Okay. <laughs> Might take a second to find the right position. So having your partner help is definitely very important here. There we go, got that one. I'm gonna put this one back a little bit. There we go. Okay. So then let's move it back forward and do the um, and do the rear screw holes as well. And of course, make sure when you're doing this that screw holes you're trying to target are the ones on the outside of the frame. <laughs> okay, now that you have the first two screws installed, you want to bolt them in from the bottom inside of the tub. So grab a washer or grab two washers and two nuts. And we're gonna go down below with a 30 millimeter wrench and be careful to make sure that your partner has a nice firm grip on the chair. Let's start with this one. Wash your first on top. Should go in nice and easy and then just use the wrench to tighten it up the last couple of turns. Can you hold on to it, partner? Sure. No, that's screw. School? Yes. Okay, got that one. Nice okay. and tight, so let's grab Good. our next one. Next one. Washer on top. Can you hold this nut down? Sure. Okay. Those are secure. So let's move to the next step. In this next section, move the chair according to the remote to where you align the holes on the bar riser and the frame here. So you can get a good close look. You'll want this long screw to go through this hole on top of the frame, the hole in the bar riser and the hole in the tub. So you need to go through all those holes. So once you have it aligned, you can simply drop it in like so. And then of course you're gonna attach the nuts on the bottom. But before you do that, let's do the other side as well. So I'm gonna have to come over here to get a good look at it. Oops, go over there. And it's a little bit hard to see, so you might need a light here. Okay, now that you have only one screw hole left, just move the chair back and forth so that you have access to the final hole which is right there. Now that you can see it, make sure that you're going through all the holes. You might have to move it a little bit so that the holes are aligned. Let's just put these last two nuts on them and this part will be complete. Okay, now the chair is attached to the base. Let's see we attach the cover set. Go ahead and grab the base section. See these two little screws here? Let's take off the screw caps. And then there's a connecting piece here. 
just put that underneath the welded section in the middle and it'll move right under it. And then align these two screws to the holes in the front. After they're aligned, you can attach the screws back on to secure the base. grab your next section which is the seat itself see there are some coverings for the velcro to have the velcro work you want to remove all of these and you'll also see that there's a wire here for the massage and the seat itself before you attach this make sure the connecting wire is pulled out and visible underneath the base so let's just set it down for now and then connect these two wires together. All right, connected. Now you can move this back and set it where it should be. All right, the seat is secure. And now we have the backrest. So if you want a softer massage, leave this on. If you want more of a massage you could feel a little bit stronger, you can take it off. We're going to leave ours on and remove the Velcro covers again. And you'll see the Velcro will connect to the alternating section on the back. Velcro cover on this side connects easily there. Good. Almost done. And the pillow. Put the rest of the covers on this as well. You see, it hangs very nicely right here. And it's adjustable based on how far your customer's head is or the height of their upper body. And the last part are the side skirts. And these just go directly on the sides beneath the chair. Okay. Now you fully assemble the mic over the patient's chair. And in case any fuse ever goes out, we've included two in the manual. Thank you for watching.